Hey guys and welcome back to my channel and to another day of vlogmas. I'm feeling very very festive right now which is why I'm wearing this red scarf and it's also absolutely freezing outside like honestly it's so so cold. I went out on a dog walk earlier and came back and had to have another shower <laughs> which was not good for my energy bill and I have had to turn the heating off because last month it was so expensive so trying to make the most of being quite warm-blooded. <laughs> anyway, I am just off out. It's only, it's only, it's 2.30 p.m. So a bit of a late start from me, but I have been shooting some really exciting content with the brand. There's a little spoiler alert of the brand. Um, but I will show you all of the pieces that I've been shooting a bit later in this video, which you probably would have already seen by now on Instagram. But yeah, I've been shooting and editing for about four or five hours and then have been doing emails, admin, and I had a design meeting this morning as well. So a very, very hectic day, but I'm just getting around to picking up the camera and popping out. So I'm gonna run into Bath, and if you watched, I think yesterday's Vlogmas, honestly getting so confused by the days, <laughs> you will have seen that I bought some canvas stockings from Hobbycraft, which I'm planning on adding some kind of like patterned textured fabrics to and then hanging them on the mantelpiece. So really hoping that I can find some that I love today in Bath and also get a Christmas wreath because I didn't get one in the Christmas market when I was hoping to and all of the florists were shut. So I'm gonna try again today. if. They're still open, most florists actually shut like two. So maybe not the wreath. Oh well, we'll see what I can get. I'm also looking for some foliage so that I can make the advent calendar and I'm hoping to do that this evening as well. So a pretty busy day and afternoon and then I'm gonna pick up some ingredients to make something delicious for dinner or hopefully my bag just fell off. Hopefully something delicious and then we'll... And then what am I doing this evening? Oh, I'm doing an advert actually with Loaf on Instagram, which I'm really excited about. So I showed you those pieces on here a while back and yeah, I really, really love them. So looking forward to that going live. And then I'm going to show you all of the exciting things that I've got here as well. <laughs> anyway, I'm going to pop into Bath now. Okay, so I haven't had much luck yet. I've just been to Hobbycraft in Bath and yeah, nothing there. There was a red gingham, which I quite liked, but the fabric was quite thin and I didn't think it would look great. So there are a couple of small fabric shops, I believe. I've just Googled fabric shops Bath. And yeah, so I'm gonna try them and see how I get on. So wish me luck. <laughs> Okay guys, I was actually very successful. I mean, I didn't get everything that I wanted to, but I got the fabrics from a small fabric shop in Bath. I'm so bad with names, I've already forgotten the name of it. And then I got some needles and thread from Poundland actually, because the shop I was in had sold out. And then I got some food from Waitrose for dinner. So I got some gnocchi, some of the fresh gnocchi, some fresh pesto, and then some broccoli to have in that. So just a really simple veggie dinner that should only take like five or 10 minutes to make. So perfect for a busy evening. I did have a look at the florist for a wreath and although they had some that I really liked, there wasn't the perfect one. I know that's that's being very fussy because they had some really lovely ones but I'm thinking it will be nice to kind of spread the decorating out a bit and I've still got the wreath and then some stair garlands. I need to finish the fireplace garland, the bedroom. So, I mean, there's a lot of decorating left but I did want to save most of it for December. If you've just got the tree and some other bits of content that I needed for Instagram for some brand partnerships done. So also look, I am, I'm on the crescent, but it's really, really foggy today, so you can't really see very much, but a lovely afternoon nonetheless, and I'm going to get home, tidy round, and I'll show you what I was working on this morning. 
Okay, so I'm just home. I'm actually going to keep my coat on because it's still very chilly and I'm just waiting for the heating to warm up. The house is basically a massive mess. Story of my life. Turn more lights on. But basically because I've been filming some content for a brand and then I tried to make lunch before I had tidied up. So that always leaves in, leaves, ends with like World War <laughs> interiors. But I thought I would show you some of the pieces from that brand. They, I'm basically creating this content for the brand. So some of it is on loan and some of it I already own or I've bought, which is very nice. But the brand is Pookie, which is so, so nice. So this is the first one. This isn't an ad, by the way. This is, I'm just showing you guys because I thought some of you may be interested. Um, this is a wireless lamp, which is amazing. They can be recharged really, really easily. This one in particular, I love. I just think, yeah, it's so cute. It can go from the dining room to the fireplace to the kitchen, literally anywhere. So that one's a really, really nice one. And then another wireless one. I actually don't have a bulb in this one just so that you can see there's the charger. They're all slightly different though. Um, but it's this one, which again, I absolutely just love. This is one of the ones that they've actually just loaned to me. So I'm gonna have to say farewell to this one. It's just like a press kind of loan, but I love the shade as well. It's just, yeah, stunning. So really, really love that one. What else have we got dotted around? Oh. There's one here, so just in and amongst my lunch mess, which is a really, really nice tall gold one. That one is a plug-in one, and it's with a parchment shade. And then, sorry, I know I'm out of shot. Another little wireless one. I think this one's called the Twinkle. Don't actually take that as Bible. But you just tap the top and then it comes on, which is really, really cute. And this one's actually a really good source of light. And it's got that lovely brass kind of fluted detail on top. So really, really love that one. I've also got a floor lamp version of that, which I will... I won't show you that one, but that is my favourite one. You'll see it in my content. <laughs> I think the last one is this absolute beast of a light, which again, I completely love. So it's a cane table lamp, and then it's got this, ooh, it's got this amazing scalloped shade, which is just perfect. And it's got this lovely reddish color to it. So yeah, completely love. It's got like a gold interior as well. Yeah, just beautiful. Some beautiful, beautiful, lamps and if anyone is looking for a Christmas present or something for a lamp lover in their life I do highly suggest Pookie. I have bought their lamps for a long long time as you guys will know. I've got their wall lights in the room out there, I've got ceiling lights from them, I've used them with clients, I've never worked with them before so this is the first time so a really, really big deal and kind of following on from what I was saying in the Thanksgiving vlog, I think it was that one. Yeah, I honestly sometimes have to pinch myself when I think about some of the amazing like career moves that have happened this year. I know that sounds, probably sounds a bit cocky. I hope you guys don't take it as that. But yeah, I'm so grateful to be in a position that I'm in and to say that I've worked with these brands yeah, it just blows my mind. I think I sometimes actually try and think of some work achievements like a CV because because working for myself, I wouldn't necessarily update my CV regularly. I probably should. But when I think about some of the brands in the last year that have chosen to work with me, it, yeah, very overwhelming. <laughs> Okay, so I'll just quickly show you guys what I picked up in Bath this evening and I'm hoping to get started on making the stockings tonight. So firstly the price I think for all of these was about £50, maybe slightly less, but 
I got three meters of this, which I'm actually hoping to use to wrap some presents, just to tie them up and maybe to make some crackers. So that one that I really love. I got a meter of this for a stocking. You can see it up close uh, if it focuses. It's kind of like a herringbone tweed. This one I adore. Really, really nice. A really beautiful, like, orange and navy tartan. So we love that. And then this one. Again, a really, like, subtle kind of houndstooth detail. And I think together, those, hopefully you guys will agree, will all look very like cozy and cottagey and pretty. So yeah, really happy with those. And then like I said, I just got some needle and thread and some dinner from Waitrose. So I'm gonna have a big house tidy now. I'm gonna get the dogs up, tidy everything around from today. It's half four now, so I wasn't out for too long. But yeah, I just need to have a big sort out I'm gonna set myself a timer for like half an hour. I don't know if anyone else does that, but I like to set a timer and play some music when I'm doing a tidy round so that I kind of have a goal to get everything done. But yeah, I'm gonna say like 25 minutes until five and then I'm gonna sit upstairs for half an hour or so until Mikey's back, do some work and then cook some early dinner. Good morning guys, so yesterday evening was really nice, we ended up watching Elf and writing our Christmas cards. I also actually had a really funny realisation that Mikey told me, but when I was writing some of my Christmas cards, Mikey was like, oh my god, your handwriting is actually like a Disney character, like when you go to Disneyland and they sign like an auto- oh, my door's going, one sec. Whew. Sorry about that. I am getting Christmas packages arriving left, right and centre, which is very, very nice. And I will show you those. Will I show you them? I'm not sure. I think I'll probably show most of the things, the gifts, etc. after Christmas. But I will record it before I wrap them <laughs> so that I can show you what I'm giving people. But yeah, as I was saying, my writing is kind of like when you'd go meet a princess and how they write things. Wait, I'm gonna write something down and then I'll show you guys. <laughs> and I will not change it. Okay, so I just wrote this so that you guys can see, but I always heart my eyes and I always do this kind of squiggly thing whenever I sign a card. And yeah, Mikey just made me laugh by saying that. So I thought I would share it with you guys. <laughs> So it's been a pretty manic day so far. It's just gone one o'clock. I did get started on the stockings last night, so I will show you that now, actually. Oh God, it's like coming into a dark room in here because, well, it is dark because the tree is covering the window. But here is the first stocking. I got some stitching, like going around the side, but I don't really care. Um, but yeah, I think it's really cute. I'm gonna actually hang them higher so that they don't hang so low, but basically look at the back. It's just a complete mess, but I thought people are only gonna see the front and they're not gonna be usable ones, like I said. They are just gonna be for like show on the fireplace. So that's the first one and I will do the others a bit later and show you how they're looking. My head is literally all over the place right now. I know that I have spoken about this before, but I am so busy right now, which I am really, really grateful for, but it feels like work is just manic. And I think it's just the time of year with Christmas and I'm sure it will calm down a little bit in a few weeks time when everyone starts switching off for their Christmas break. But I'm trying to use every free minute to record content for Instagram, TikTok and Vlogmas to share with you guys. And today I'm going to quickly make a advent calendar. So I showed this in one of the other vlogs. So I won't run through that again, but I've just realized my stamp kit only has letters. So what I'm gonna do, instead of numbering everyone, I'm just gonna kind of leave it as a surprise. And then I'm just gonna write at the top, I think like Merry Christmas or Happy Advent, Merry Christmas, maybe just Merry Christmas, really simply. And then I'm gonna garnish, garnish with some foliage and hang it in the kitchen. And 
if you did miss what I'm doing with this, I'm going to be putting our favourite 24 Christmas films inside. So yeah, we'll write those a little bit later as well. And then tomorrow is the 1st of December. So we're really, really getting into the thick of it now. So I am going to film myself putting that up and doing it all for Instagram and TikTok. And then we'll actually probably write the Christmas films later this evening because I've got a lot more to crack on with this afternoon. <laughs> right, I'm gonna get started. Okay, so here is how the letters are looking. I am actually gonna just write all of the films down now because I just think I'd rather do it properly now and get it up. But I think that looks really, really cute. And I'm actually really glad that this doesn't have numbers on because you can literally just choose randomly then, can't you? More fun. <laughs> Okay, guys, so here is how it's looking. Um, sorry, it's been a couple of hours since I made it, but I had a work haul. I just did a couple of little bows. I was going to pop some foliage on, but I thought that it looked really cute in the corner, just like that. This is one of those new pookie lamps and yeah I've just popped a film sometimes two when I've figured out like when it's a weekend in there and then obviously just stamped the Merry Christmas on so really really happy with that and a cute advent or just like for any other time of the year idea for any of you. <laughs> okay so I've just done a couple more hours of work but I actually have my mum and sister coming over for dinner tonight, which I'm really, really looking forward to. So I'm going to be cooking three easy-ish, well actually, yeah, very easy, Christmas or wintery recipes. One of them is going to be a roasted winter vegetable salad. So it's got butternut squash, parsnips, lots of lovely herbs, rocket, crumbled feta, which is delicious. So I will be doing that in my next vlog. I'm going to film making them now. And then I'm also doing a, like a twist on macaroni cheese. So it's going to be somewhere between broccoli cheese and macaroni cheese. So it's going to be leeks, broccoli, peas, and two different types of pasta in a really creamy cheesy sauce and then the third recipe I'm going to be doing is just some really really simple Hasselback potatoes with fresh thyme which I think are a really good lunch option if you kind of want to make three or four of them on a Sunday evening and then you can just reheat them in the microwave or in the oven for 20 minutes or so every day and they're much lighter than a roast potato but much more delicious I think than a jacket potato especially with some cheese melted on or some tuna mayo anything like that so yeah I'm going to be filming all of that so if you want to see that do make sure you're subscribed to my channel and I will be doing that in the next vlogmas I think <laughs> but anyway I thought I'd open a couple of packages with you guys so I've firstly got my seasonal flowers from Hello Petals who I will link below but if I forget to then it's Hello Petal on Instagram and yeah honestly the loveliest 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 person company that I'm so so glad I use and yeah I'll show you everything anyway <laughs> Okay, so I just opened the packages up because I was recording a TikTok and I'll show you how these look in another vlog, but here's the first bunch of stems from Hello Petal. I mean, these are so pretty. I don't even know what they're called, but really, really textural. Looking forward to getting those in a vase. And then the rest, I mean, I can't really show you, but it's basically just loads and loads of gorgeous wild foliage. Ooh, the door's going. Sorry, I swear, I do not know what's going on with me right now, but I keep hearing the door going. Um, anyway, yeah, there's loads of different types of foliage. So there's eucalyptus, there's berries, there's honestly loads. So I'm gonna make that up now, and oh, maybe I'll show you in a sec. <laughs> okay, so if you watched my vlog where I went antiquing with my friend Adam a few weeks ago, you would have seen that I got this pot. So I'm going to be using that. So I'm just going to have a look now at Hello Petal because 
what she does that's very handy is posts images of the flowers on her website so that you kind of know roughly the look you're going for because anyone who's like me and isn't great at floristry then you would find that very handy. Okay so we've got the eucalyptus foliage box so it's going to look hopefully something like that although I'm not sure if my vase will create that shape but I will give it a go and we'll see. So I'm going to start with the biggest leaves which is going to be these eucalyptus stems so let's just take all of these off. Just in case anyone's interested, this box was £56. What I'm going to do actually is, because my vase is quite big, I'm going to pop in it just an old, couple of old tea towels, which is quite a good tip for anyone who wants to do the same because it basically means that your arrangements are going to be slightly taller. So... I know that you guys probably won't be able to see this very well, but I'm going to arrange it all and then I will show you properly. So, started off with those. I'm then going to go in with the smaller eucalyptus leaves and I'm just going to add these in like branch by branch. I really want this display to look quite wild and quite messy. It's going to be going on the console in the dining area like by the staircase. So, yeah, it's, there's actually nothing on that console table at the moment, so I'm quite happy for this to just steal the show. <laughs> what I might do, actually, if you guys would find it useful, is make just a reel of me putting this together. Again, I'm by no means an expert, but putting it together for Instagram and TikTok as well, so... Yeah, let me know in the comments if that's something you would like to see. Also, worth saying, Stormy is here, but I'm just keeping an eye on the branches, just making sure that nothing is falling on the floor, because eucalyptus can actually be quite poisonous for dogs, so when it's preserved, it's normally okay, because I've never really found that they drop very much, but yeah, you just need to, just need to be careful and watch, watch that. Okay, so I'm trying to make this quite sculptural and shoving all of the branches in at different heights. But yeah, I'm kind of happy, like I said, for this to be quite a wild, messy looking bunch, as it is looking. I mean, I'm not sure if this is too wild, I think you can never really tell until you get it on in the place where it's going to be displayed, but it might be, maybe I need to split it up into two, but for dinner tonight at least, I think it will look nice on the console table. Do you know, this might be a nice excuse to get a new vase because I actually need a wider top, I'm thinking. So maybe I'll have a little shop around. But I would ideally like to get like an antique one. Let's see. Right, there we go. I'm going to put it on the console and then we'll show you guys. Okay, so please ignore the two lamps there. They're not staying. They were just, well, you saw them earlier in the vlog. They were a part of my work campaign that I was shooting, but I actually love how that looks just on its own. So it will just be those two small pots, and then obviously I've got the lamp in the corner, so I don't need one on the console, and I think that's a really, really nice way of doing Christmas, just adding some, like, wild texture. So, yeah, really, really love it. 
and let me know in the comments what you guys think. But I will probably still try and get a wider pot in a similar style. So yeah, very happy. Right, and then for the second ones, I think I'm just gonna keep them kind of like weeping in the this vase here, which is an old one from Neptune. But I'm thinking I will not like trim them or anything, but I'll have them for now just in here, literally like this to one side. That's how um, they're styled on Hello Petals website, just like a very simple setup. And I'm gonna pop, oh, they smell so nice. I'm gonna pop those in our bedroom and then I'm gonna hopefully swap these into that vase and then find a new vase for those over the weekend or something. That's the plan. <laughs> right, I'm gonna put these, or maybe I'll just keep these by here. What do we think, too much? Yeah, too much by there. I'm gonna put these upstairs. <laughs> okay, guys, so the door actually did go that time. I swear, it's like a revolving door to the cottage, but it is a package for Stormy and Ziggy from the team at Tales.com, which is so kind. I only briefly looked inside, but I thought I would tack it onto the end of this vlog and show you guys. For anyone who has dogs or loves our dogs, Stormy is here with me. Oh, <laughs> she doesn't look happy. Say hello, Stormy. Say Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. So, so the card says, Dear Toby, wishing you and your family a joyful festive season. I hope your gorgeous pups love our Christmas range and I've popped a few treats in there for you to enjoy too. Ah, that's so nice. Thank you so much for all of your support and the lovely content you've made for us this year. From Kezia. P.S. That's so nice. She said, just in case you did want to share this, I've created a discount code for you, Toby's Home 25 for 25% off the range on shop.tails.com. So that's until the 4th of December. So this video probably will be out by then, although I might actually ask and see if I can have that discount code extended. So if it did work and I'm allowed to, I will pop it in the description box below just for anyone who might want to buy something for their dogs. Oh, this is so cute. So there's a box in here. I'm just gonna open it and see, see what it is and then I'm gonna wrap it up and put it under the tree again until advent. Oh, so cute. Is this for you, Stormy? You can't see what's in here. But I will show you guys. So there's these gift box that say on the front um, to and then from, and there's actually two in here. So one for Ziggy and one for Stormy. And then inside there's this cute squeaky toy. She's excited. There's a ball toy. There's a really cute bow tie, which would have actually been so, so handy last year because we were trying to find one for Ziggy to wear at the wedding. There are some treats. So there are duck bites, cold press, and salmon. Oh, Ziggy can actually eat some of these because they're fat free. So that's great. And then what's this? Oh, there's some dog food in there as well, so two cans of dog food. So yeah, that's so, so nice. So a massive thank you for Tails.com for sending that over. And then, what else? So there's another of those boxes. Oh my God, there's honestly so much in here. This is so nice. What a massive, massive treat. I honestly don't think Ziggy or saw me realise how lucky they are to benefit from me working all the time. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness, there's an advent calendar in here. So a Tales.com advent calendar, which is super, super nice. So very happy, oh, one each as well. Oh my goodness, I'm gonna have to check that Ziggy can actually eat these, but um, I don't know if he will be able to because it doesn't have the 
fat contents on the advent calendar and for anyone who doesn't know he has pancreatitis, quite a severe case so any fat does kind of send him over the edge. I think the door might be going again. No it's not. Right and then there's something in here for me as well. This is honestly such a treat. So there are Noop's expertly crafted chocolate drinks. So for anyone that doesn't know, Noop's is, I think you pronounce it Noop's, is a chocolate shop in London and there's actually one coming to Bath which is exciting. We saw it about two days ago. So very strange that this has just come in the post. And then there's some marshmallows there as well. Five large marshmallows to enjoy with hot chocolate. And then a unique mix of warming spices for a festive hot chocolate. And then just some information about what those are. So the advent calendar is £10, which you can get on shop.tales.com. I'll actually try and link that on Instagram maybe today or tomorrow. Um, should have opened this sooner, but it only arrived yesterday and I've been super duper busy. And then the Christmas goodie box is £30, which has all of those toys and treats in, so perfect for gifts. And also £2 from every box is donated to charity. So yeah, really, really nice. I honestly, I know I said it before, but I actually love Tales.com. I think they're one of the best companies. Ziggy and Stormy adore the food and the treats and I reuse it constantly so it's been amazing to be able to work with them this year. Obviously this isn't an ad at all but it was kindly gifted from the team at Tales.com. Right, I am going to round off today's vlogmas there. I think that was a bit of a longer one than usual, but I hope you guys enjoyed watching. And the next one, like I said, will be three recipes that I mentioned earlier. So if you do want to hear them, please do subscribe to my channel and watch them in tomorrow's vlogmas. And then I think that's going to be quite an exciting one after that, where we're celebrating our anniversary and going away. So we'll take you around some Cotswold villages, do some shopping and all of those lovely, lovely things. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching guys. Bye bye!